Okay, so we have a bunch of parts and the goal is to combine everything we have here and an actual paw. This entire project we've been working on, what it feels like a bunch of separate elements. So here are the toes, you know, here's the paw pad, here's the back of the paw. And this episode, the goal is to get everything together as one giant piece. So it's just three parts, but it's gonna be a little tricky. So we have the toes up front and then this back strap going around the back here. The back strap, I think, is gonna be really easy. It's at the end of the day, just one point. And because we already know the center of it here, it's really just pinning this in and then sewing each side. I'm not worried about that. But what we are worried about are the toes themselves. Here's the, here's the actual challenge of this. This is a pretty complicated shape. And even though we've done our best to get the, uh, the toes to match the, the base of the foot itself, there's still quite a few inconsistencies just from doing this from like a human kind of nature perspective. You know, just things get a little different. So the first step is gonna to be to center everything to itself. Keep in mind that the foot paw is actually just off center so that when you're walking, you're not colliding into yourself. This is the true center of our foot. And then this line here is the center of our toes. I'm gonna to start by pinning these guys together such that we know that each side on both the toe and the foot will be equal. I'm just using regular safety pins here. Uh, and this is just to give us kind of a base. There, so that's pinned in. And then we also know that this here is gonna be this gap here because this is our toe, uh, piece A and piece B. And then this is our other toe, piece B. I guess these are both Bs. That's gonna go here. This whole side's B, that's right. So we got everything pinned together. Let me turn this around so you have a better view of it. And as you can see, there are a little bit of a gap in there and we're gonna have to deal with that. I'm not super worried. All we gotta really do is sew it together at a, and as long as it looks good enough, no one will ever notice. I mean, at worst, we could put a little extra foam or something there. I don't think it's gonna be a big deal. We're gonna pack this thing full of polyfill anything, anyways. So any fine detail like that is just gonna get lost. Let's start by uh, pinning everything together with like the bulldog clips. I'm not sure what you call these. Alligator clips maybe. Let's get everything real nice and pinned together just so when we sew it together it's not going to be a huge problem. Let's start with this part, it'll be the hardest part, and then we can, get, then we can knock out all the easy tasks next. So I wanted to give you guys a close up on how exactly I'm doing this. So if you look here, all I'm doing is I'm taking each of the individual pieces, you can see it here, and then I'm just uh, clipping them together. And this is gonna make it much easier to sew, just so I don't have to think about it and I can just kind of space out and go down this entire seam. So here are the results from sewing it together by hand. I'm not very happy with these results. Uh, you can see the seam all the way up here. From a distance, it doesn't look very bad, um, but I think it can look quite a bit better. So for the next foot, I'm going to actually remove the bottom pad and then do the whole entire thing inside out, sew it together, and then turn it inside out again for the, to put and then glue back on the shoe. I think that's gonna look a lot better. This is fine and I'm not willing to redo it, but I think it can look much better if we do it inside out and then turn it inside out, inside out. 
Yeah, you, you get what I'm saying. Uh, yeah. So I want to give you guys an update on the results of turning it inside out as opposed to sewing it directly on the foot. And much to probably your totally non-surprise, it looks so much better. Look at this. Uh, here is this. So this is the one I turned inside out. So I sewed the, sewed the whole thing like, like this and then turned it inside out for this result. It looks much better. Uh, compare that to the other one, which, I mean, you can visibly see, right, like right here, and it's pretty bad right here, where all the kind of thread goes in. It doesn't look good. I'm not gonna redo this. That's probably a lot more work than we need to do. But if we're gonna do the rest of this foot, might as well start ripping this up because <laughs> it looks so much better. I'm excited. So just like before, we're turning this inside out and we're gonna do this from the center of the back and the center of the back strap and then kind of work way around. And we're gonna do this from the inside out. That works really well on the toes and it's probably gonna work really well here. And we're just gonna do this entire thing with these clips. So starting right here, just gonna kind of clip it and then we can just kind of go down the way. Okay, I think this is great. I think let's just go ahead and pop this on the sewing machine and see how it comes out. So here is the final product. As you can see, it's just a kind of seam that goes all the way around it. I'm sure there's some sort of optimal sewing settings you could use for your sewing machine. I just kind of guess this has always worked great for me. And then the most satisfying part, so now you can turn it out, turn it inside out. And it doesn't look like much yet. This kind of lumpy paw shaped sock is gonna be what actually comes together. So as you see, this is gonna connect here. And then we're, we're getting there. It, it's starting to look like something, uh, like a big paw sock, sock paw. I'm sure you've been screaming at your camera about these big, bright red arrows we drew in the fur to make sure that we didn't actually put, accidentally put it upside down. Well, we put it upside down. I'm not gonna redo this work. I'm sure you don't wanna watch me redo this work. It's just gonna be how it is. I don't care, it's not that big of a deal. But. To wrap up this section of the project, all we, need to do, all we need to do now is to clean up the sides, pin them together, and then just sew them together. That should be this. We've taken our three separate pieces over this entire episode. We've combined them into the whole entire uniform foot. We've taken all the small chunks, we've hacked them all together with the sewing machine, and now we have a pretty solid base for the rest of the foot to work off of. 
The next big step going forward is it's a little teaser. We're adding big plush claws. That's gonna be fun. We also need to do a little bit of cleanup work um, with the long fur here. So we still gotta get to that. And then we have to build the top of it. So we're missing the entire top of the foot. That's gonna be the big challenge coming forward next. But until then, this is looking really good. We're making great progress. Thanks for watching. I appreciate all of your support. If you've made it this far, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, if you're working on a fursuit, I'd love to see it. Please put a comment in the comment section below.